Okay, okay folks, I'm back. Um, just turn on air conditioning a little bit. Now, I have the kit lens that came with the R7, the 18 to 150. It's at 18 millimeters right now. It's at 3.5. If I scroll down to, let's say, F8. Let's leave it at F8. Okay, I could go to 16, where I'm usually in. But that, leave, that looks a little bit too dark. Oh, let me just leave it at F8 for today. And I see a shredder thing. A mulch from the city. See the cat that likes hanging around my house and playing with my cat. They're two friendly cats. Um, I used to have a, a neighbor that lived right next or right behind me. And uh, what I was noticing one time, uh, I was petting the cat in the morning. And my wife came in and he says, who cat, what cat are you uh, petting? And I says, well, it's Dusty, our cat. He says, that's not Dusty, because Dusty's over here. And I looked down on the floor and there was Dusty. And I took a look at his other cat and I think that cat knew the rig was up. So he just jumped off the table and went out through the doggy door, okay? so. We put the cat food on top of the uh, kitchen table because uh, the dogs will eat the cat food, okay? So, forward a little bit, had a kind of like high, strong winds come through our neighborhood and uh, knock my fence down. And uh, what I was noticing was that same darn cat was uh, by the fence that was knocked down. And I was talking to my neighbor because we were talking about the insurance and you know who's going to pay for what or whatever. Anyway, I says, uh, whose cat is that? He says, that's my cat. And then he says, who's that cat? Which is, he was pointing to Dusty. And he says, that's my cat. And he says, well, he's going into my house eating my cat's food. And I turned to him and I said, well, the same thing with your cat. <laughs> we started laughing. So uh, anyway, he got a, a German Shepherd puppy. And I think it scared off the cat or his cat. And uh, unfortunately, at that time, we were having coyote problems. And I've got two dogs attacked by them. And they tried to attack my cat, but cat got inside real quick, you know, in the doggy door. And I had that kind of like halfway open. And uh, let me tell you, that coyote was not happy. Okay, who's going when? No, yeah, little funny stories like that. You know, they like to share with people. I like looking at animals, uh, their behaviors. I've raised about, uh, I think it was about three or four dogs when they were puppies. And when they get happy, they start running around the house or something like that. I guess that's a, and it, you know, uh, at their time of age, that's when they start becoming an adult. But when they get happy, they start, the dogs start running around the house, you know. And uh, they're, they're not falling over their feet and they're not uh, tipping over. Or, 
or trying to practice walking. And they're usually out of uh, the teething uh, stage, which they chew everything up. seen a school bus in a long time. So I think they're widening uh, this highway. I think they're going to try to make it four lanes? I don't know. Either that or they're going to work on this overpass right here. We haven't figured it out yet. We get no news of what they're actually trying to do. So you can see the cranes, you can see the uh, the rebarb. Man. So they're working in that area right there. They're trying to get every little pass or little piece of land. Bit too slow. And uh, I've been watching reports. You see, here's some more. So they're doing something. Anyway, um, I was watching a video about uh, the reason why we have a lot of. Uh, flash floodings now is there's more cement and pavement and there's no ground to soak in the water. Now I noticed that what Arizona does is they have second parts with grass which uh, they capture the runoff water and then they have canals that uh, recover the water and they process it to, for drinking and other stuff. Um, I'm also hearing reports that the Colorado River is not having that much for farmers and they're being cut off in central uh, Arizona. Uh, yeah, it's... Water is a thing. Then you hear about lead pipes. I think my house has PVC. And then, uh, what else? Hard water. You need a, a soft water uh, oh man. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the roof. How long will it last? If I buy a 20 year old or do I get an aluminum roof that might last about 50 years? You, you look at all the pros and cons. Then you decide, well, am I going to sell a house? But where would I go to? Yeah, it's stuff like that. When I retire, I would love to travel. I've been to a lot of places, but uh, you know, you still need a home for a base, you know, to recuperate. And I'm debating if I should have, you know, uh, it's kind of like in Timbuktu, but then. Uh, you have to worry about the internet connection. So when I do these videos, I want to upload them. I'm not happy with Spectrum. I mean, they've been pretty good, okay? It's just that uh, I like it uh, faster upload speed. And I've been looking at AT&T. And I've been looking at, well, 
and I'm looking at my house. So my mom's health is at issue. So I'm looking at that too. Yeah, there, there's a lot of decisions. Am I going to retire next year or am I going to wait till I'm 70 years old? You know, it's it just a lot of decisions. Um, I'm still able to work, but am I getting tired of just getting up and going to work? Um, you know, it, just stuff like that. And I do get bored easy, so I'm trying to do something different that I like doing. I like cameras, I like taking pictures, I like doing videos. Um, I try out different lenses. See, there's that deer. <sighs> now this is at 18 millimeters. What I can do is uh, show you with this lens. Now the image stabilization is off. So, like the other video, which is still being processed, it's been about four hours, okay? I did it without an in, outro, or intro and outro. I just let YouTube do the rendering completely without any compression. And I've noticed that they render it a lot quicker if I don't compress the file. But then it takes like two and a half hours to upload, what, a 16 gigabyte or a 20 gigabyte uh, file. So you have to take the pros and cons with that. And uh, of course with the storage space, you want less possible storage put on your SD. But I do notice that there is some video quality loss when you do compress a file. So a lot of people say handbrake, but handbrake crashes on me on the PC now and then. I tried doing it on the Intel uh, Mac Mini and it, I couldn't see the TV. <laughs> I have a 65 inch in the living room and I still couldn't see it. Uh, I would have to get my little binoculars outside you know from the car in the garage and, and look at it. <laughs> So I'll do it on the Mac Studio. Uh, what, I, what I'm trying to do is where if I know the video is good, okay, because I watch it before I decide what I'm going to do with it, you know, uh, add anything to it or whatever. Um, if I don't do anything, uh, I just want a compressor that makes the file smaller, but without the loss of quality uh, of the video. Can I have a large frappy mocha, please? Large frappy mocha, please. That's it. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I hear it clicking. <laughs> You know, this car, it sounded like my uh, grandparents' car. You know, like the old model of T. Because <laughs> I hear that clicking. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, uh, I'll get scared because there was an old TV show, uh, My Mother's Car. So the mother took over the radio, and she was always arguing with her son while he was driving. So that's what I'm scared of. Thank you. Right. All right, old TV shows. Man, that's a funny clicking.
Thank you, Mark. You too. Bye. Well, no overheating. It's been 15 minutes. And it was a quick one. All I had to do was wait a little bit for the drink, but that was about two minutes. So how does it look? No stabilization. You see any jello? If I move the lens up, come on. I move the lens up. It's not turning for me. Move it back. Okay. So you see, I can move it up a little bit and you can not see the dash. I tried different focal leaks in that parking lot. Still got a little time before work. And this is at F8. Okay, I left it at F8 on purpose. Okay, the reason why I turn, I gotta miss this tire or bumper and shoe. Wow, is that a tire or a bumper? <sighs> okay, so right here, this is the perfect spot where you can test out the uh, focal range. I'm going to move it back a little bit. You can see part of the dash. Do a little auto focusing. Okay, so right now it's at 35 millimeters. Okay, if I scroll back down, that's this is 30 millimeters. This is 24. There's 28. I like 28 for some reason. So that's 28. And if I put it up here, okay. So you still get part of the dash, all right? 35 millimeter I found is excellent, which was there. And this is at F8. If I scroll down to 7.1, see it gets brighter, okay? This is at F5 on this lens. So I like leaving at eight. That way, and I can go higher to like 10, 11, F13, that looks pretty good right there. There's 14, 16. So, you know, you can practice with that. I leave the shutter at 1 60th and leave it there. So this is 6.3, 5.6, 5.0. See, that's too bright. So that's why I leave it at eight. Eight is good, sharp detail. And anyway, for the video, it's fine. No overheating. It's been about eight, almost uh, 19 minutes. So I just want to say uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, as always, uh, if you have a question, just leave it in the comments below. Stay safe. Keep smiling. Until next time. Bye.